In this video, we are going to talk about the odds of 15 random events happening to you. So before starting this video, please like this video and subscribe to this channel for our future updates. Number 15. Getting struck by lightning. According to the United States Weather Service, the odds of getting hit by lightning in a given year are 1 in 1,222,000 people, based on population statistics. When we consider the probabilities of being struck by lightning in your lifetime 1 in 15,300 and assuming an average lifespan of 80 years, the probability of being struck by lightning increases dramatically. Surprisingly, the odds of you being affected by someone you know being struck by lightning are 1 in 1,530, based on the assumption that 10 people are affected for every person struck. Number 14. Winning an Olympic medal. The 2018 Winter Olympics awarded 487 medals to 2,952 athletes, or approximately 16.5% of the total number of competitors, including individual and team events. After all was said and done, 93 individuals competed in those games and took home 208 medals, lowering the percentage of Olympic athletes who won medals to just 12.6%. Because of a reduction in the number of Summer Olympic events, obtaining medals has become even more difficult than it was previously. For the average person with their sights set on the gold, the chances of winning are extremely tiny at 1 in 662,000. Number 13. Being killed in a plane crash. Inhale deeply and board that plane with assurance, based on the size of the population and the usual pace of travel, your odds of dying in an aviation crash are only one in every 11 million people. In 2020, there were 40 aviation accidents, five of which were fatal, resulting in the deaths of 299 persons. In the year 2019, 86 incidents were reported, eight of which were fatal, resulting in the deaths of 257 individuals. Number 12. Having twins. If you're putting up a nursery and purchasing a crib, should you consider building it for two people? Approximately one in every 250 spontaneous pregnancies results in the birth of twins. The likelihood of having twins increases with age, while the likelihood of having twins increases with reproductive treatment. Despite the fact that there is a gene that increases the likelihood of having fraternal twins in a family, males who inherit the gene are not more likely to have twins in the family, and it does not raise the likelihood of having identical twins. Number 11. Dying in a tornado. Due to the fact that tornadoes cause approximately 25 deaths per year on average, the odds of dying in a tornado are 1 in 13 million. If you live in a mobile home, reside in a tornado-prone area, or take unnecessary risks when a tornado is nearby, your chances of being killed or injured increase. Number 10. Winning the lottery. If you're hoping to win the lotto, you're either extremely fortunate or a terrible math student. Your chances of winning the lottery are determined by the game you are playing and, in some cases, by the number of other people who are also participating. In general, your chances of winning a jackpot in the Powerball lottery are 1 in 24.9 to win. If you want to win the lottery, your chances of winning are 1 in 292.2 million. It's even worse if you're hoping to win the Mega Millions jackpot, your chances of winning are 1 in 302.6 million. Number 9. Being saved by CPR. According to the American Heart Association, evidence shows that when CPR is delivered to cardiac arrest victims outside of the hospital, up to 45% of them will survive. Because the majority of these emergencies nearly 70% occur in people's homes, it is beneficial for all members of the family, including youngsters who have the necessary physical strength, to learn how to conduct cardiopulmonary resuscitation CPR. Number 8. Killed by a meteorite impact. Despite the fact that meteorites are at the center of many science fictions and disaster films when it comes down to real science, Earth is a massive planet with vast swaths of uninhabited territory. In terms of planetary surface area, you have extremely low but wide-ranging odds of being killed by a meteorite impact between 1 in 3,000 and 1 in 250,000, according to one estimate, if you compare the amount of vacant versus inhabited space on the planet. A meteorite struck the ground in 2016, killing one person. 
In 1954, the renowned nine-pound Hodges meteorite made direct contact with the thigh of an Hodges, who was napping on her living room couch when the meteorite struck. Number 7. Finding a Four-Leaf Clover. According to Dr. John Frett, professor of plant and soil sciences at the University of Delaware, this genetic plant quirk confers the blessing of the Irish on only one out of every 10,000 clovers planted. That doesn't rule out the possibility of finding one, Gabriella Gerhardt of Fitchburg, Wisconsin, holds the Guinness World Record for the most four-leaf clovers collected in a single hour, having collected 451 on September 21, 2019, according to the record book. Number 6. Getting audited by the IRS. Paying taxes may be stressful enough without having to worry about being audited on top of it. In 2019, the Internal Revenue Service audited around one out of every 220 individual taxpayers. In general, if you report income of $0 or more than $10 million, you are more likely to receive a phone call from the Internal Revenue Service. Number 5. Bowling a perfect game. It's a terrific time to be a bowler right now, thanks to technological advances that have allowed people to drastically improve their game. The number of perfect games recorded by the American Bowling Congress increased from 905 in 1968 to 34,470 in 1998, according to the organization. Even after the modifications, the odds of a professional bowler bowling a perfect game are approximately 460 to 1, while the odds of a casual player bowling a perfect game are approximately 11,500 to 1. Number 4. Living to 100. In the last century, technological advancements have more than quadrupled human life expectancy worldwide, and the United Nations anticipated that by 2021, there will be approximately 573,000 living centenarians around the world, according to their estimates. In the United States, there were 97,000 people in their 100s who were still alive in February of 2021. Women have significantly better probabilities of achieving this milestone than men, with women accounting for more than 80% of all centenarians. You should hold off on preparing for your 100th birthday party for the time being because your chances of living to 100 are affected by a variety of factors, not the least of which is the fact that those who are the youngest now have a significantly higher chance of living to 100 than the rest of us. Number 3. Earning a perfect score on the SAT. Getting a perfect score on the SAT doesn't ensure admission to college, but it certainly doesn't hurt to achieve this goal. However, only a select handful are capable of pulling off such a feat, only 504 out of the 1,698,521 students who took the SAT in 2015 scored perfectly, accounting for 0.03% of those who took the test. Even after the test was updated in 2016, things didn't get any simpler for students. However, since test administrators no longer provide specific data, suffice it to state that in 2020, just 7% of the 2.2 million test takers received a score between 1,400 and 1,600, with 1,600 indicating a perfect score on the exam. Number 2. Getting your car stolen. Car theft had been on the fall for decades, but it has recently begun to sneak back up. In 2021, there were around 873,080 car thefts, which represents a 9.2% increase over the previous year. For the 286.9 million automobiles that were registered in the United States in that particular year, this is a 0.3% probability that your vehicle will be stolen. Number 1. Seeing your congressperson re-elected. In spite of the fact that popularity ratings fluctuate, there is a 90% likelihood that a congressional representative seeking for re-election will be successful. Despite the fact that the percentage fell to 84% in 2010, it has not fallen below 90% since 1974. The national re-election rate for members of Congress in 2020 was a record-breaking 96%. What do you think of our video? Let me know in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go. Thanks for watching.